Oh, uh, good morning. Hmm, I think it's breakfast time. Oh no, we're all out of food. Looks like we have to make a trip to the grocery store. Hmm, eggs? Eggs? Where are you? Nope. Carrots? Potatoes? Nope. Hmm, cereal. Perfect. Hello everyone, this is Greg and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we are going to create a plentiful grocery store. This grocery store is a small to medium sized store. However, there are plenty of aisles that can support a decent sized community. This grocery store is the first of the shops and business playlist and I hope you enjoy this build. This build is broken down into 9 steps. And without further ado, let's start the build. Also here's a quick little side note. The base of this grocery store is roughly 27 by 17 blocks wide. And it is 9 blocks tall. These dimensions are helpful if you're building a neighborhood and need to know how close you can build next to another house. Step 1. First let's make the base to the grocery store. Use green concrete and lay down a 27 block row in the back of the store. Then at the last block, pivot 90 degrees and add 6 additional blocks. So the new section is 7 blocks long, and then do the same for the other side. And then once at the end of this section, pivot another 90 degrees and add 8 blocks to the side. Now the total length of this new row will be 9 blocks long. Then we can repeat for the other side. Then pivot another 90 degrees and add 6 additional blocks for a total length of 7. And then repeat on the other side. And then lastly, we can add in 6 individual green concrete blocks. Attach the first one directly in front of the store, that is one block back. Then repeat for the other side. Then the next block is attached to the side of the front row. Make sure the block is placed on the inner side. Then repeat for the other side. Then from the front, move back 5 spaces and over 1, and then place another block. Then do the same for the other side, moving back 5 and then over 1. Step 2. Next let's finish the walls. To start, Add two layers of white concrete on top of the green concrete blocks. Then place an additional one layer of yellow concrete on top of the white concrete blocks. Now the walls are a total of four blocks tall. Step three. Next is create the roof. Use dark oak stairs and start at the fourth block up. The fourth block up is the yellow concrete layer. Make sure the dark oak stair overhangs past the front of the column by one block. Then carry this row of stairs all the way to the back until it meets the next wall. Then continue up and inwards for an additional 5 more rows. Step 4. 
Then we can do the same for the other side. Make sure to overhang the stair by one block past the front. Then continue up additional 5 more rows of stairs. Then we can switch to dark oak planks and fill in the center. Then we can add detail under the roof line. Switch back to dark oak stairs and line the bottom of the ascending roof line with upside down dark oak stairs. Then for the back side of the roof, fill in with dark oak planks. Make sure to overhang the slabs one block past the edge of the walls. Then fill in the center of the roof. Step 4. Next we can finish the front of the store. Then move over two spaces from the inner wall and place a door on the second and third space. Then do the same on the other side moving over two spaces and placing a door on the second and third space over. These two sets of doors will help direct traffic. Then carry the yellow concrete beam across. And then we can fill in below with black stained glass blocks. Then above the beam, we can make a 3x3 window out of glass blocks. Make sure the center of the window is lined up with the glass column below. Then fill in the rest of the opening with white concrete blocks. And then we can add detail by placing a mini overhang, starting at the yellow beam. Use dark oak stairs to make this overhang. Step 5. Next we can work on the lighting. Use end rods and place them at the fourth block up. Lay the end rods horizontally and connect them together. And we can make row after row until the track lighting reaches the end of the store. Step 6. Next we can make the large windows on either side of the store. From the second column over, clear the white concrete blocks in between the yellow and green beams. Then leave the end column and fill in with black stained glass blocks. Then we can repeat for the other side. 
To refresh, move over one column and clear the center concrete blocks. Then leave the other column on the end and then fill in with black stained glass blocks. Step 7. Next we can install the floor. Replace the grass floor with white concrete blocks. Step 8. Next we can install the shelves, food bins, and aisle displays. To start, use dark oak slabs and make a shelf right inside the door. And then we can do this for the other side as well. Now let's make the food bins. Switch to oak stairs and make two large crates. These crates will be great for displaying food. Then we can make the aisles using oak blocks, and make them 3 wide by 2 tall. And then we can make oak shelves at the end. Use upside down stairs and place them along the back edge. Then we can repeat for the other side. And then we can move on to stocking the shelves. I'm going to place item frames on the wall, and then food inside the item frame. This will help showcase the food. And then we can place food in the bins and stock the rest of the store. And we can also work on the interior by adding carpet and a few paintings. And I think I'll even add a few plants in the front. Step 9. Next is the landscaping. I'm going to use oak leaves and wrap around the store. However, you can always landscape the way you prefer. Also, I'm going to make a walkway in front of the store. You can use concrete, stone slabs, cobblestones, or stone brick blocks. I'm going to use stone brick blocks for this example. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or would like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later guys. Previously on Greg Builds, we built a secret hidden base. 
The entrance is carved into the hillside, where we then enter through a series of doors, followed by a trapdoor. Then at the bottom of the trapdoor is a steel door, which drops down to a water pit. Then from there we enter into the storage room, and then into the base. That is, of course, if you can make it to the base. Make sure to check this build out. Later, guys.